In just about six hours, President Trump's new travel ban is set to take effect. Arguments to block the executive order are being made in courts across the country, including here in Maryland. A federal judge in Greenbelt in Prince George's County says he will make a decision soon. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live there with more on the arguments and the demonstrations outside the courthouse. Mike? A lot of passion out here today, Denise. The arguments are underway right now in a Washington state courtroom in Hawaii. The judge there says he will rule by midnight. The judge here has given no indication. All of these judges have to decide whether the president overstepped his authority. No hate, no fear. Refugees are welcome here. No hate, no fear. Refugees are welcome here. Immigration activists chanted outside federal court in Greenbelt, where inside a judge was deciding whether to halt President Trump's revised executive order limiting immigrants from six predominantly Muslim countries. Many of the plaintiffs in the case, I literally think, may die if they have to wait 90 to 120 days to be able to come in. Lawyers representing refugee groups argue the ban is unconstitutional, a thinly veiled target of a religion. Whether this particular order and the orders that preceded it were motivated by a desire to discriminate against Islam and Muslims. And they say Trump's words as a candidate prove it. Total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Courts struck down the original order which caused chaos at airports, but government lawyers say the refreshed travel ban is strictly about national security and candidate Trump is different from President Trump. And with this order, President Trump is exercising his rightful authority to keep our people safe. The lawsuit being heard in Greenbelt is one of three in court today. Maryland's attorney general is among those suing. It's illegal, it's un-American, and it's unwise. The revised order will go into effect at 12.01 tomorrow morning unless a judge stops it. We believe that President Trump's actions are discriminatory and put us all at risk. So right now, the countdown is on. Again, in Hawaii, that judge says he will issue a written opinion before midnight. The judge here made no such guarantee. Live in Greenbelt, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Thank you, Mike. The General Assembly recently gave Maryland's attorney general the power to sue the federal government without the governor's permission.